Fox News anchor Harris Faulkner pays tribute to her father, a lieutenant colonel who served in Vietnam. In her book, Nine Rules of Engagement, she calls the book a military brat's guide to life and success and joins us this morning. Good morning, Harris. Good to see you. Well, good morning to you. It is great to be with you this morning. Uh, you know, it's interesting, Lauren. I have so many ties to Dallas mm -hmm. that I want to just start by saying hello to all of my cousins, to my dad in Grand Prairie, my wartime dad, uh, to all of my cousins in places like Richardson and DeSoto and Fort Worth. I mean, all over the place. I have 11 cousins there. So hello, oh, everybody. Wow, a big shout out then, no doubt. Well, <laughs> you know, why did you decide to write this book? Why now, I guess? Well, you know, it, it's based on my most popular motivational speech where I take what I learned as a military brat from that wartime dad I just mentioned, a combat pilot, and apply it to success in life. And it's a sure thing, Lauren, and mm -hmm. I, I feel like I'm shining a light too on the 1% who serve and their wider families who serve with them um, because they really walk out patriotism and resilience and stick to right. quite in a different fashion than most people do. I mean, they are working against the odds of their loved ones coming home from deployment sometimes, mm -hmm. whole or even at all. We've yeah. been at war for a protracted period of time on different fronts. And so we have members among us in America that we can support. And I'm hoping that my book can shine a light on what they bring to the rest of us and why many of us as military dependents end up successful. Right. We truly believe that through all the moving around, we can make a friend wherever we go. <laughs> you say recruit your special forces, basically. So yes. surround your people, surround yourself with people who are good, that are, that are leading you in the right direction. Yeah, distraction is destruction for your mission. Mm. And, that, um, and so is negativity. Yeah, yeah. So you want to have people around you. I know you see it squad goals on Twitter or hashtag inner circle, and it, <laughs> it builds the circle for you on Instagram now. It's so important who you have around you. I talk about the science in this book of the people that you spend the most time with, the five people you're around the most. You become like them. Boy, I hope they're great people because that's a lot of yourself to give up. Um, you can't have people who gossip, who are negative, right. who want to tear you down. You can't have people who covet what you have. If he or she wants what you have, how can they help you get what you want? Your upbringing, I mean, when I'm reading the book and talking, I mean, you have this great relationship with your father, which I think is so sweet. Uh, but you talk about your upbringing. Both and my it, parents. And, yeah, and it was, it was, it's pretty strict, your upbringing. I think a lot of people would say it was strict, just being yeah. in the military. Now, I have to ask, as a mother now, do you feel like you're strict? I mean, do you, are you? Are you a tough one? <laughs> I feel like I bring forth these rules, definitely. And, and you know, I think, and, and people may think that they're disciplined, they're strict, but think about the military for a second. If we're not playing on the same field, if, if things are not level, and if you can't anticipate what consequences are going to look like, you'll try anything. And you don't need to try everything in life. You need to do the things that help you be successful. So that's where I'm coming from. My mother wanted me to have that special forces inner circle mm -hmm. better than what I had it when I was in junior high. Right. So what she did was she filled up my time, Lauren. She had me doing things like ironing pillowcases. Ooh. Who needs an iron pillowcase? <laughs> that's a tough one. And at mom. one point, I thought I caught, I know, I thought I caught her going out and buying pillowcases for me to iron. <laughs> like she was serious about this. But you know what the message was? I want you to spend your time with me where your values come from not with the ones who I'm questioning right now. And I don't judge their parenting, but I'm in charge of where you go in life, Harris mm -hmm. Kimberly. And yeah, so I'm <laughs> passing this on to my kids too. I'm not making them iron pillowcases. I'm coming up with other things for my preteen. But it's important to set the boundaries right. and to let them know this is integrity. This is our household. This yeah. is how we get well, it done. There are some great stories in this book, and I love all the rules that you have as well. A lot that you can learn from. Find a link to the book, The Nine Rules of Engagement, on our website, yeah. fox4news.com. Thank you, Lauren.